Hi, JK friends. One of our information books this week is How Many Teeth? I know some of you are starting to lose teeth and we all have teeth and we need to take care of them. And this book is all about things about your teeth. So read it and find five facts that you learned from it and have someone help you write them down. And then take a picture of you with your five facts and send it to Mrs. Marsico. All right, How Many Teeth? This is written by Paul Showers, and it's illustrated by True Kelly. How many teeth? Here is Paul. He is a new baby. He has no teeth. He does not need them. He drinks milk and orange juice. How many teeth does Paul have? He has no teeth at all. He drinks his breakfast and his dinner too. He doesn't need teeth to help him chew. Very young babies never do. No teeth. Maybe you know a baby that has no teeth. Now this here is Elizabeth. She is not a new baby. She is one year old. She has six teeth, four upper teeth and two lower teeth. Elizabeth needs teeth to help her eat. She likes to bite things with her teeth. So she's got, can you see that? Four on the top, two on the bottom. Elizabeth likes to bite. She does it from morning till night. She bites her food, her teething ring. She tries out her teeth on everything. She bites her cap. She bites her sweater. She would bite the cat's tail if it would let her. Babies with teeth like to bite. Look at her chase the cat. The cat is too fast though. Maybe you know a one-year-old that likes to use their teeth on everything. Now this is Sam. Sam, he is Elizabeth's brother. Sam is a big boy. He goes to school. Every day he goes to school with his friends, Larry and Tom and Lucy and Sandy and Mary and Bill. Sam has 20 teeth. He has 10 upper teeth and he has 10 lower teeth. His front teeth are sh have sharp edges. He uses them to bite things. His back teeth are flat. He uses them to chew things. So biting like an apple and chewing bubble gum. Here's a picture of the inside of a child's mouth and their teeth. The upper teeth are up here and the lower are down here. Most of Sam's friends have 20 teeth, 10 upper teeth and 10 lower teeth. How many teeth to bite and chew? Sam has 20 teeth. Larry has 20 teeth. Sandy and Lucy and Mary have 20 teeth. How many teeth do you have? Maybe you could find out someone could help you count your teeth. Open wide. Cheese. We know what teeth are good for, smiling. Now this is Sam's father. He is bigger than Sam and he has more teeth. He has 32 teeth, 16 upper teeth and 16 lower teeth. Take a look at that picture. It's a little bit different. A lot more teeth, right? Still upper and lower, but those are adult teeth. Sam's, this is Sam's mother. She has 32 teeth. Grown up people need a lot of teeth. They have sharp teeth to bite their food. They have flat teeth to crush and chew their food. So watermelon and corn, those are things we need to bite and then we need to chew. Thirty-two teeth for biting and crushing. Thirty-two teeth need a lot of brushing. 
Sam has a loose front tooth. He wiggles it with his toothbrush. He wiggles it with his tongue. It feels good to wiggle it. He's thinking about the tooth fairy. New teeth. A new tooth is growing under the loose tooth. The new tooth keeps pushing. That makes the old tooth loose. So if you look carefully, here's baby teeth and here's the new teeth. It's in, it's underneath the gums. And so as a new tooth is coming up, it's wiggling and loosening up that loose tooth. And it gets a little looser and then it pops out and then the adult tooth comes through. Soon the old tooth will fall out and there will be room for the new tooth. The new tooth will be bigger than the old one because it's your adult tooth or grown up tooth. Now, go out, out go the old teeth, in come the new. Sam needs bigger teeth to bite and chew. Sam is growing up, he is getting his grown up teeth. He will have them for a long, long time. Oh, he got his tooth out, see? Awesome. Sam brushes his teeth every night and he brushes them every morning. You should too. He takes good care of his new teeth and he will keep his new teeth for the rest of his life. Out go the old teeth, in come the new. Sam is growing up and so are you. It's a neat rhyming book, isn't it? It's got lots of rhymes. Many of Sam's friends have loose teeth. Lucy can wiggle her lower front tooth. Soon it will fall out. Maybe it will fall out tomorrow. Oh, see? I look, they have a tooth chart to keep track. Looks like some kids, Bill and Sam, are up there with the teeth they've lost. I know some of you are losing teeth right now. Sam and his friends made up this verse. Read it out loud. So take a listen to this. How many teeth has a, ba has a baby? How many teeth have you? Oh, Sam has a loose tooth. Sandy has a loose tooth. Lucy has a loose tooth, too. Can you remember one of the facts? How many teeth do babies have? Zero. And sometimes one-year-olds have four on the top and two on the bottom. How many teeth do you have? Kids should have about 20. Do you remember how many grown-ups have? I think it's 36. Let's double check. 32. 32. See, I need to remember. Bill cannot say the verse very well. Do you know why? <laughs> because his two... Two of his teeth came out, and when he smiles, he looks like this. So when he talks, it might sound like that, because he's got a space there. And when he tries to say the verse, it sounds more like this. How many teeth hath a baby? How many teeth have you? Oh, them hath a tooth loose. Sandy hath a tooth loose, a loose tooth. Lucy hath a loose tooth too. He can't wait to get his new teeth. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that story and try to think of five facts that you remember from the story. Maybe how many teeth do a kid do do a child have? How many teeth does a child have? 20. How many teeth do an adult have? 32. 16 on the top, 16 on the bottom. You guys have 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom. And what do we use our front pointy sharp teeth for? Biting. And what are our back flat teeth for? Chewing, crushing and chewing. Good job. Maybe you can think of a few more and write them down and send me a pic. Bye.